Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the mystical and mysterious realms. Today, we are embarking on an intriguing journey as we unravel the origins of one of the most formidable figures in demonology, Asmodeus, the Prince of Hell. So grab your seats, open your minds, and let's begin. Asmodeus has captured the imagination of countless individuals throughout history. He is a prominent figure in various mythologies, folklore, and religious texts. But who is Asmodeus, and where did he originate? To understand his story, we need to explore ancient texts and legends that shed light on his enigmatic beginnings. Asmodeus is predominantly associated with Judeo-Christian demonology, where he is depicted as one of the seven princes of hell. In the Book of Tobit, an apocryphal biblical text, Asmodeus plays a crucial role as the demon who torments Sarah, the daughter of Ragel. However, Asmodeus predates his appearance in Judeo-Christian texts. His roots can be traced back to ancient Near Eastern mythology, where he appeared under different names and held various roles. In Persian mythology, he was known as Eshmadeva, a demon associated with wrath and lust. In Babylonian mythology, he was called Asmodei, a malevolent spirit who plagued humanity. Asmodeus' characteristics and attributes have evolved over time. In some legends, he is portrayed as a powerful fallen angel while in others, he is depicted as the personification of lust and sexual desires. These varied representations indicate the influence of different cultures and belief systems throughout history. The diverse interpretations of Asmodeus have made him a compelling figure in both religious and literary works. In John Milton's epic poem Paradise Lost, Asmodeus appears as one of the fallen angels who rebelled against God. His character embodies pride and ambition, seeking to corrupt and tempt mortals. In Peter Binsfeld's classification of demons, Asmodeus represents lust. The demon is also mentioned in some Talmudic legends, for instance, in the story of the construction of the Temple of Solomon. In Islam, he is identified with a puppet mentioned in the Quran, which dethroned Solomon and reigned over his kingdom until he got his kingship back. Asmodeus' association with lust and seduction is also highlighted in the famous medieval grimoire The Lesser Key of Solomon. Here, he is portrayed as the demon who tempts individuals to indulge in their desires, leading them astray from virtuous paths. It is important to note that interpretations of Asmodeus can vary across different belief systems and occult traditions. Some view him as a malevolent force to be feared, while others perceive him as a symbolic representation of human desires and the challenges they present. As we conclude our exploration into the origins of Asmodeus, we find ourselves contemplating the enduring allure of this enigmatic figure. His complex character and multifaceted nature continue to captivate and intrigue both scholars and enthusiasts of the occult. Whether we interpret Asmodeus as a demon of lust, a fallen angel, or a personification of human desires, his significance lies in his ability to represent the darker aspects of human nature. Through legends, mythology, and literature, Asmodeus serves as a cautionary figure, reminding us of the potential consequences of unchecked desires. Join us in our next episode, where we delve deeper into the tales and legends surrounding other fascinating figures from the realms of the supernatural. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more enthralling content. This has been Grimoire of Myths bringing you the most intriguing topics and discoveries from the realms beyond. See you on our next adventure.